Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 77 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, our streak is still going, so we're going to do another random. Oh god, don't give me the back end characters. Okay, we got Lilith. <laughs> right between Keeper and the Lost, and you just give me, uh, well, there's our seed. Loop R0JE, or Roja. Alright. Robert Loja, or Robert Roja. Robert Roja. I think he's dead now, but. Not Robert Roja, he's not even a real person. Like, he might be dead in our hearts because he just doesn't exist. I thought about Robert Loja. I'm pretty sure he's dead. It's sad. I mean, it's inevitable that people die, but you still get sad about it. I mean, that's just being a human being, because, you know, they're just not going to be around anymore. I'm sure they did some good shit. And, you know, every time you look on the news and somebody dies, they always talking about, oh, she was a straight-A student. You never hear, like, a, she did math when she was 12. You never hear that. Usually the ones that, that die and do the shadiest stuff, they don't report it on the news because it's not a feel-good story. Well, someone dying is never a feel-good story. Let's put that in perspective right now. The point is, you always hear that it's a straight-A student that volunteered a lot for charity, helped out the old people, that kind of thing. That's all you tend to hear because it tugs at your heartstrings. And that's all I got to say about that. You, you never really hear about, like, uh, the sketchy things they did. Well, like, she cheated on our boyfriend because he beat her at Connect Four. That's a little huge there. That's... A pretty big over-exaggeration or overreaction right there. So we got the body. The body is pretty good. If you want to, like, have a lot of red hearts. I mean, why wouldn't you want to have red hearts? You can use them towards deal with the devil leverage. And take it from there. Okay, how do I not get hit there? That surprised me. I should be using the box of friends more often, especially since we've had some rooms where batteries have dropped. But I guess it's falling under too good to use syndrome right now, knowing that we're on the first floor, but just... It's gonna be hard to get, like, a two charges of box of friends in, like, the cellar part one. Let's put that in perspective right now. You'd be hard-pressed to do that unless you manage to find a lot of batteries. How are these mini haunts still alive? That's beyond me. Thank God they're both dead. Because they were being a big nuisance. I saw myself getting hit there. Like, it's hard to dodge in between, like, all of these shots. But we had to try it at some point, and I just failed miserably. Thank God for that rock over there. You serve me well, Dwayne Johnson. Let me say that much. Big multi-millionaire uh, or billionaire movie star, former professional wrestler. And Scorpion King. <laughs> were a lot of things, dude. <laughs> and there we go. Han's dead. Eh, Crackjacks is okay. So we got ourselves another Red Heart container and Samson's Lock. Uh, Samson's Lock is okay, I guess. I mean, it's not a terrible trinket, but it's not really a trinket that I'm enthused about. But I'm just happy that we got something. We should really get rid of this fire. Ooh, an extra soul heart. So I feel really good about our health, even if we don't know how much we have. All I know is we got a lot in proportion to where we are right now. Oh, God. This is not exactly a good spot to be, because I was literally cornered. Couldn't I get that rock over there? Really? Okay, fine. I guess I have to get Wrath cornered himself, even though he's clearly... The Defying me. Okay, there we go. We're out of the fuck chamber. We put him in one, too. Awesome. Health down! Oh, well, there goes one of our many uh, red hearts that we gained. We started with one, gained three, then gained another one for a total of five. So, we brought down to just four. And some extra change. So, we're not doing too bad, even with that health down pill. At least we know that we have it. Why does it feel like the game's a little slow? 
Is it because we're in the burning basement, that kind of thing? There's a lot of enemies? Feels like it. I don't know. You, you don't understand, game. I can't do this to you two times in a row! We had Forget Me Now on the last run, not to mention a five room on that same run, so uh -huh, I'm gonna have to pass. There are some things I'm willing to do. Like, I will do anything for my fans, but I won't do that. Like, give up Box of Friends and then just redo Burning Basement 2? No, no. There are some lines, and I'm not crossing this one. Okay. Let's put that in perspective right now. We've already done a lot in a reroll central, and this is not one of these things I'm willing to commit to. We found our boss room right away. That's pretty good. Box of Friends should definitely be ready because I never use it outside of bosses yet. So, there we go. Luckily, it's only Monstro. But he didn't come alone. Which is good, because it gives me a little extra company. So we know Samson's Lock is not really the uh, traditional pre-rebirth uh, Samson's Lock. It's going to be like a, whenever I get hit that I'm going to be doing extra damage. Which I haven't been hit yet, aside from the health down pill. That was it. So I'm just going to be on s the base damage for now. Hopefully I can get some extra DPS after this fight. Because that would be really awesome! Come on, hook me up, dude. Okay, so we're gonna get five red hearts again. That's real dope. Dope enough that we can take all of this. There, so we got the pentagram and the athame item. Uh, I think that's gonna be it. Not gonna look for the secret room. I think we're just gonna go. Curse the unknown again? Really? We just had that. Oh, I guess we're not going to fight that. Uh, I guess we'll take all of this again. I think I'm just on one red heart now. Oh, I haven't opened this. Okay, bombs are key. Well, I kind of wanted more keys, so I'm happy with that. Oh, and the phone rings. Time out. Okay, I'm back. Let's try this again without interruptions. I forgot what the pill... Oh, yeah, it was one makes you small. So let's go back with the two of hearts, which I probably won't be able to use at all. Because I may not have hearts after this. <laughs> this would be a bad way to end the streak because I was taking too many deals with the devil. Well, if you give me the body on the first item room, of course I'm going to go hard on devil deals. That's just like devil fodder. I'm telling you that much right now. I still know that I only have, like, what, one red heart. So I got to worry about that for a while. Now we're going to be a washing keys and probably not get bombs for a long time. Okay, Sacrificial Dagger will really help us out to probably block some shots. Or at least to do a lot of damage when we need to. Uh, yeah, I'll use a bomb just to get to that great chest over there. There, I pretty much broke even. You know what, we'll just use a box of friends right here. You know, try to use it a little bit more often. Plus, we get two succubi, which is pretty cool. Can't go wrong with that. Unless you have no use for them. Okay, go after these damn bony succubus. Make my life a little bit easier. Plus, every time I get hit, I got the Athame working for me. We just haven't seen it because I haven't got hit yet. And I like to do this whole run without getting hit at all. I mean, the, can you imagine if that were possible? I suppose we'll just blow up these mushrooms in the hopes of finding magic mush, which we did not find. In fact, we found a range down. Uh, our existing range is pretty bad. It could stand to be a lot better. Maybe I should not have done that, but... Reroll machine is still there. We'll only use it just to uh, get to those coins. And then we'll go back to take the uh, box of friends. Then we'll re-roll all this. Dead Sea Scrolls is bad. Mini Mush is not. We'll take Mini Mush. Unless we got our range back and we got a little extra speed. Can't complain about that in any way whatsoever. I would have a bad taste in my mouth if I did. Okay, let's...
Let's try to swing this right. There we go. Do it on this side. There we go. Shop is definitely looking a little bit more viable right now. There we go. We did it. We did not get hit once. I must say I'm very impressed with myself. Chaos is tempting. I'm not going to deny that. No matter what you say. Ooh, what you say. <laughs> I can't believe that song is actually turning into a meme now. Or at least it is for like some people. I wouldn't say it's turning into a meme for everyone. I think our secret room could be right here. Seems like a very good spot. I tried to like uh, knock that troll bomb right into the mushrooms and I realized I, I have Incubus so... Didn't exactly work out the way I wanted it to. Gertie Jr. Alright. Well, I got no problem with Gertie Jr. I got two spots where I can stand to do the, uh, extra damage. So, yeah, you don't stand a chance. Okay, we got some of our red hearts back. And I think we should just go. So, we're not gonna get the red candle. We need Box of Friends still. And we're not gonna take Chaos. I mean, Chaos would just make this... Oh, my fucking god. Is this like a fever dream? Like, every floor I'm gonna do is like Curse the Unknown? Because we had that for like three or four floors? I, I just find that a little bit ridiculous. Like, how that has happened. Maybe that's what the uh, loop means in the SC title. Like, it's just gonna be an endless loop of Curse the Unknown. Like, come on, game. Try to mix it up a little bit. I just find that very odd. There was the same curse like two times in a row. Like three of four rooms. I don't really need Box of Friends right here. I know what I need. Just a little bit of extra red hearts and there we go. All the red hearts that we spent on deals with the devil, we're gradually getting them back. Can't really say I'm complaining about that. <laughs> that means it's going to be able to take a lot more. Epiphora, it's all right. All I have to do is just keep shooting. And it's going to gradually get stronger and stronger. I was complaining about my tier stat being pretty low. And I think Ep Epiphora, well, that was bad damage. But at least it gave me a black heart. So the more I just keep shooting, the stronger it's going to be. Almost uh, completely screwed that one up. And uh, don't really want to bother with that because I don't even have the bombs anyway. Okay, this kind of worries me if Succubus actually kills one of those bomb flies right next to me. Alright, let's check our shop. And in here, we don't find anything good. I find things I would like to have, like a Try this card. Ah, it's two of diamonds. Why am I not using two of diamonds right now? Well, I only got four cents. It's not really much to do with blank card. It's more that I just got four cents. Like, if I had a lot more, then, you know, I'll do it. But right now, no. I'm not gonna bother. In the slightest. There are some other things in the shop I'd rather buy rather than just the blank card. Car battery would definitely be up there. Nine Volt will also be up there. Nun's Habit. Anything that allows me to use Box of Friends more frequently, I would definitely be game for it. Mapping is also nice, too. Alright, let's go to town on Goity. Goity's gonna be dead! Ooh, I just saw that shot at the last second. Like, I didn't even see it for a while until it just got past Gertie's body in there. Whoa! Had to be freaking Neo, man. You know, and like those two Matrix movies he was he was in. You know, it's a thing to deny the third one even existed. In fact, I kind of broke the law just by actually talking about it. So I'll be in jail longer than uh, murderers. <laughs> when you're talking about the third Matrix movie, it's like it's a crime equivalent to like a uh, file sharing. Am I right? <laughs> oh boy! Oh, get away from that! Like, all four of these fires are bad fire. Oh, Krampus, why'd you have to go over there? Krampus' head is not worth taking. I, 
I guess I can just look for the secret room before I leave. It's not gonna be over here, obviously. Now, there are a couple places it could be, like... It could be somewhere around... Could it be here? No. It can't be by the item room, so I'm thinking... It's not there. It's very... It's gonna be very tricky to find it. Maybe it's over here. No, it's not over here. Alright, alright, whatever. I didn't really want to look for the secret room anyway. Oh. This is probably the best spot. Never mind! I completely messed that up. So I have no bombs now. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I should definitely destroy the rest of this fire, because maybe I will get that 15 cent. Oh yeah, I've already been in the devil room. It was just Kravis' head. I forgot. <laughs> it's an item I don't really care for. Oh god, no. Oh, that almost got me. Speed down? Well, it's not terrible. At least now we can see how much health we have. Oh, that was another speed down pill. I can't even pick up soul hearts anymore, so that pretty much is a good barometer as to how we are doing. Come on, Epiphora, or Epiphora, do your work. It's not a bongo run until I mispronounce, like, a certain items more than once in the exact same video. Or use two different pronunciations. Maybe three different pronunciations. Can't do anything with that, unfortunately. I think this is a box of friends worthy right here. What? What the hell even hit me? I, I didn't even see anything hit me there. What happened? I didn't see anything, did you? I'm gonna have to go back to that video, see what happens. I think my uh, playthrough is getting a little bit possessed. Is, is Hollow Man featuring Kevin Bacon here in this entire uh, video? Because things are looking a little messed up. I'm getting hit by things I can't even see. We're not even there. Please help. Thank you. Much appreciated. That will help me get over my little anxiety with the invisible enemies that are even more invisible than they normally are in this game. Not really liking this. Oh, God. Can't believe I never got hit there. Maybe thanks to the Athame item, I should get hit more often. Because it could increase my chances for black hearts. If I just find, like, a room with a huge amount of enemies, like, well over five, I should be getting hit. Because then I might be able to create some black hearts out of them. Kind of wish I didn't have this much fire. Ah, the hangman judgment. Eh, yeah, sure, I'll play you. I have no bombs to blow you up, unfortunately. I'm not going to play the Two of Diamonds yet, because there could be a blank card in the shop. don't really think a uh, Judgment is worth using the Two of Diamonds on. So yeah, we'll just hold on to that a little bit longer. Well, three keys is not bad, but zero bombs is a bit disappointing. Oh wow, half a red heart, thanks. Don't think this is going to help us get out of here without taking damage, but that's okay. It was just that we weren't going to be going back for it. Okay, so far so good. We're kicking a lot of ass as per usual. That's the MO of pretty much these Isaac videos right now. Like, we got all these accomplishments done, so it's, it's a good way to uh, boost our confidence. Let's just say that much. You know what? I'm kind of glad we're fighting Greed. Because we were low on money, we might as well just take this opportunity to uh, get more money. There we go. We're back to 13 cents. Why don't we go back to that curse room? I'd say that judgment owes us. If we're going in there twice. And pays up with yet another key. It's getting kind of ridiculous now. 
And half red hearts. Like, just keys and half red hearts. Like, where's the bombs? Where's the item? Oh. Our item is the butter fucking bean. Wow. Can't believe that it was actually a thing. And I still have no bombs to access any of this shit. Oh, another judgment. This is just mocking me now. There we go. Another key. Oh my god. How many bombs did we pick up on this floor? Zero? Me thinks it's a little bit annoying as to how that's actually occurring right now. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going this way, like the only way we haven't been. Because it's not a bong and let's play until he, well, wow. Until he gets lost. That's why we need some mapping now. Okay, get rid of these jabronis and then we'll be ready to take on our boss. Doesn't really matter who our boss is, but if it's the Fallen, I'm game for that because I can use a little bit of extra damage. Oh, wow, our first bomb. What did I need a bomb for anyway? Was it like... I don't even remember anymore. But I knew I needed a bomb for something. Oh yeah, it was a stone chest. I think that's what it was, a stone chest. Uh, we'll deal with that later. But at least we're gonna get a gish, or a little gish. No deal with the devil, that's unfortunate. Where was our stone chest to? Was it all the way back there? I think it was like all the way back to the beginning. Is it worth going all the way back? Uh, probably. Stone chests are known to be pretty good. It was probably somewhere around here. Oh, no, not here. Uh, over there. I think it was somewhere in the mob trap room. Well, why? If anything, it was nice to go back for that extra soul heart. So I guess you can say goodbye to Boss Rush. Oh, all oh right, it was right here. How come the map doesn't mark these? I started a joke. <laughs> I got the whole world laughing. Go oh, fuck me. You know things have gotten bad when you're just starting using Northern Lionism, such as, you know, doing things you instantly regret. <laughs> and, you know, being from Canada. So let's move on here. Oh my god, we did all that for like a red heart we can't even use. Okay, well, Cricket's Head was a really nice get. We could use a little bit more right now. And of course you give us this bullshit room. Oh my god, I hate this room so much. If you can't fly, it's just pretty much a death sentence. Well, a slow death sentence, because, well, you're gonna get hit. I don't care who you are, even if you're the Pope. If the Pope was playing this game, that'd be pretty awesome. He'd, he'd just be fried out of his mind. We should definitely play both of this. Like, we can get, like, one play of each for a half heart. I think that's pretty solid right now. Too bad none of it was paying up with anything. Well, it gave us the virus. Virus is pretty cool. I'm not gonna bother with the rest of these uh, places right now. I think I should just wait until I'm a little bit stronger. Why do I have two succubus? Oh yeah, Cambian Conception. Okay, well, we got half a play right there. Uh, tell you what. We'll pop the Temperance right by the other blood bank. Like, we'll pop in next to this one. Temperance. So we can get two plays at once. There we go. We'll keep coming back once we get more hearts. We can use this towards more Cambian Conception plays as well. Good thing I didn't go to that key breaker, because I definitely want to reuse my keys here instead. It's a three. Tell you what, we'll pop that right away. And... Put a bunch of keys down. What did it do? Oh yeah, apparently the uh, two of diamonds is now gone. It turned into a troll bomb? Oh man. 
That's brutal. <laughs> I lost my two of diamonds. I should have like picked it back up before I, after I used the temperance card, so I would have still had it. But instead, I just hopped over the three room because you know I'll just pretty much do anything in Isaac, much akin to like sticking your fork in an electrical outlet. Ugh. I almost said outler, and I was like, no, that's not it. It's like, why can't the toaster take a bath? <laughs> this is pretty much how I operate in some Isaac videos when I know that I got nothing to lose except the streak. Like, the streak hardly matters to me. Like, I'm just happy to be playing this game for you guys, because I know you guys love it. Bombs are key, and I don't really see the need to do that right now. So I should probably not. I don't see the need to get that other battery because, well, these guys are going to be toast anyway. There we go. That was pretty easy. Now let's gradually get our hearts back. Once we get to, like, all our red hearts back, we can probably start playing the, uh, blood banks again. First, let's see what's in here, and we get... Ooh, Guppy's head! That's our only uh, Guppy item so far, isn't it? Yeah, I, I don't think we picked up any others. So, that's a little small crawl towards uh, the Guppy dream. Which could be a reality, you never know. I mean, we could have gotten two Guppy items in that uh, boss trap room. Or was it just one? How many red chests were there? I don't remember anymore. It goes my short-term memory, and I've been known to have a really good memory, and in other times, my memory is shit! I swear to God, if Blank Card is in our shop, I'm gonna be so pissed. Eh, it's Black Handle. I like Black Handle. At least we'll never see Curse the Unknown for the rest of this run, for a change. Did not get anything from that guy, really? He had money in his eyes. I know it's not a guarantee, but come on. I did get a couple luck ups earlier, as if it has, you know, it has no impact on that. But I'm just saying. Maybe it could have. Spider baby, whatever. Don't really think it's gonna help us either, but we'll take it regardless. We're only gonna take it because we know it's just not bad. We still don't care much for it, but it's not terrible. Okay, we got a lot of uh, succubus action on the go. Like, we got three every box of friends play. I think that's pretty fantastic. So we'll definitely check our deal with the devil. And finally, some deals that we don't really care to take. Look, Brother Bobby, I know, would stack with box of friends. But Brother Bobby, even if there's two of them, is still garbage. It's just double garbage. So, it doesn't mean it's worse than garbage, even though there's, like, two garbages. Like, come on, if it's two garbages, is it really, like, a double it's worth? Like, maybe it's just half garbage, because there's two of them now. Can it really be worse if there's two? In the case of Brother Bobby, yes. I'm gonna say that much right now. Brother Bobby is terrible. Two rotten babies, I be game for. But, uh, two Brother Bobbies? Uh, who cares? Look, if we got time, I'll, I'll definitely do the hush fight. It's my treat. Okay, I definitely want to keep these keys, so Bombs or Key is out of the question right now. Uh, an extra battery charge? Well, if it's there, we'll definitely use it. Ooh, Infamy! Like, there's no penalty for us using that battery. Because we're going to, like, uh, get it back anyway once we're done here. Everything is definitely coming up Millhouse once Chubb is dead. We did get a nice defensive item. Hopefully it'll bail us out from time to time. Well, the best outcome is for us not to have to use Infamy. But if we do, we're glad it's there. Even if it doesn't look like it's there. God. I don't really like fighting the wall monsters in this room. 
because you feel so limited and there's like six of these things in this one room where you have so little fragments to or segments to work around when the spikes are up like you gotta get your ass out of there you're gonna get hurt I don't want to get hurt I, I want to keep living Okay, there we go. Which way do we go? Because, you know, there's three ways, so it's obviously going to be the third one I take, no matter what. Well, it's 50-50 now. So there's no way our boss is over this way, because it's the second path, and there's still one unexplored path. Oh my god, another fork. Well, fork me sideways. Great, Curse of the Maze, that's just what I need. I still have Curse of the Maze despite the Black Candle now. Yep, I, I do. That's funny. Okay, we did find our boss. Good, 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 good. So I don't want to be here much longer if we're going to make this hush stream happen. Alrighty then, it's Skull X. This is probably one boss that I don't really care to use Box of Friends for, but I will anyway because, y'all, I just don't like Skull X that much. Gonna have to let Sacrificial Dagger do most of the work. Get out of there! Oh, that kind of hit me right there. Yep, the mark is definitely a good get. All right, it's time for us to go. Got a little bit of extra damage. Hush does not stand a chance if we get to fight him or her. As long as you stay within the succubus uh, aura, I mean, you're gonna be wrecking some ass. I thought I picked up that battery. Like, for some reason, I only got half a charge. Like, I could have sworn I was touching it. What happened? Why did it not register? Well, no sense for me to go back for it now if I'm going to get this fully charged soon enough. In fact, it is fully charged because it was a big room. That's pretty convenient. You know what I haven't found? I haven't found any tinted rocks, and I'm pretty sure I came across any, and I just never found them. Especially around the womb area. Like, I know there's little X's, but I can hardly see them here. I don't know how your eyes are able to track them, because mine sure as hell can't. Because I can just look at all this, and I can't pick out a rock anywhere. Or a tinted rock anywhere. I also can't seem to find the way to Mom's heart anywhere. Because, well, I'm pretty much stuck. You have to be all the way back here, sucky boy. Oh, ooh, you almost charged at me again. I did, would not have liked that. I appreciate you more when you're dead. That's something you should never say to your spouse. Unless he's like, she's like an assassin ready to like uh, destroy the very fabric of society. I mean, then why would you marry her in the first place? But, you know, maybe she changed at some point. Like, maybe you, you just didn't clean the bathroom enough, and all of a sudden she just turned evil, became a menace to society. And knows, like, all the ultimate magic spells in the game. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> That's why you should definitely clean your house, because you fucking live there! Other than, you know, to make sure that your wife does not become the final boss of a JRPG. Or at least a fallen character that's just before the final boss. Enough said. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. Can't believe I still got hit there. I thought Sack Dagger was going to protect me from all this. Oh well, to continue on with our little fun runs, we're going to be doing ourselves a hush fight. Hopefully I do not regret that decision. Well, we got hit of the Keeper, which is pretty nice. Not that we ever need money for anything. The stars, well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, the soul is definitely good. And out of all this, um... Sister Maggie. I'm not gonna be taking an item that I'm just gonna be putting back anyway. It would just be pointless. Placebo is not very good. Should definitely get our battery charged up. Ah, I capped out just at the last cent. I almost said the zeroth cent. I'm like, what? 
Wait, did I actually use a key to get in there? I could have swore I had like two keys, then when I opened that, it was down to one. Does the hush door actually use keys? I found that very unusual. Please tell me I'm not seeing things. I'm not being absolutely delusional to my whole surroundings. I could have swore I used a key right there. This is weird. Well, at least Hush is gonna be toast. At this rate. Though it doesn't look like we're doing a lot of damage, because we definitely aren't. It's probably gonna be a while before we actually get this guy killed. We have no means of replenishing batteries either. So we gotta stay within a succubus range in order to do even more damage. Like, we literally have to rely on this. That's it. The soul is definitely doing some work. That is why I picked up that item. It's really saving my life. I love that when you walk towards the shot, it actually does steer back. Like, in the same direction you're walking. Like, it makes you feel powerful. Because you are powerful. Game feels a little bit framey still. I don't know why. Well, to be fair, this laptop is a little bit old. I mean, I've had this ever since, what, my Mega Man Battle Network 1 Let's Play? And it's served me well ever since. Let me say that much right now. I'm surprised it still is. Maybe I should not be using Sack Dagger. Huh. Let's just dismiss that idea completely. Seemed like a decent idea at the time. Because I knew how slow my damage was getting. I know how slow this run itself is going. It's almost like, you know, traditional Binding of Isaac when it was running on a different engine. And it was just so terrible. Like, it would just be so slow in the end. Like, you probably need the most powerful computer to actually run it. And then for some reason, this game is newer, but it runs a hell of a lot better. Man, how good things have gone ever since that. People thought that a rebirth would just be a downgrade in terms of a graphical quality, but it turns out it's a hell of a lot better. I mean, what's the good of, like, uh, realistic graphics if the, if the game doesn't play as good? That's just like uh, finding yourself a nice relationship. I mean, what's the good of his or her looks if he or she is a total shithead? Or just, like, not really good at things? Or how to be a decent person? It's all about quality in the most inner of things rather than just, like, exterior. So there's my inspirational quote of the day. Now it's time for me to fuck this blue thing up. Slowly but surely. You know, I should just use a theme right here. If anything, just to get some more black cards. And in fact, we gained more health than we lost. And I think Samson's Lock would still kick in, so I'll be doing more damage on this floor. Hopefully. So if Hush summons a lot of enemies, I'll just kamikaze right into them and let a theme do the work. Unless there's like very few of them, and then it's pointless. I didn't realize there was a ton of money right here in this one spot. That's interesting. Certainly loves doing that continuum shot, it's getting a little ridiculous. Oh my god, my shots are huge! Is it based on, like, when I'm moving? Because it feels like Epiphora ep ep is a little confusing to me sometimes. Even if I get it explained a lot in the comments, it still feels like nonsense. I think Sack Dagger... Oh, I just moved like one half a millimeter and I just got hit. 
Shows how much I know about Hush's distance. Okay, should be close to dead right now. Just a little bit more and we're almost done. Oh, you had to like retreat right at the last minute. Look how little health you have left, dog. You might as well just give up now. Figured I'll just use the bombs or key to get rid of it. Come on, get up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on, come on, get up. Time for you to get up, dog. Get up. Thank you. About time you died. Okay, I might as well just pick up all this money in case money equals power is in the chest. So, there we go. I almost thought I was going to go down by accident like last time. But we made it to the cathedral. We earned it, everyone. We busted so much ass, and now we here. No black hearts? Really? I'm disappointed. Hi, disappoint. This is Bonga. <laughs> Did I just really do a dad joke? I feel like I'm that kind of person that I'm either gonna be making lame puns or dad jokes, and you know what? That's just a sh shot. Uh, that's a sign that I'm pretty much getting up there. I mean, I'm only 29, and I'll be 30 in September. Eighth year on YouTube, and I'll be approaching the big 3-0. Isn't that interesting? Like eight years on YouTube, and all of a sudden I'll be 30 within a couple weeks afterwards. Time certainly flies. Usually people around this age were, you know, getting married, having kids, starting a family, that kind of thing. I haven't really done any of that. Oh, hey, well, fantastic. And you know what? I'm in no rush. I mean, I've been in no rush for years now, but at some point, maybe I would like to find commitment. I mean, it's going to be a hard press because, you know, I'm not a skeet bag that has a lot of money or smokes weed, huh? Because apparently that's one quality that some women are looking for. Well, not, well, girls, really, not women. Uh, let's just put that in perspective right now. I don't exactly have all those qualities. I'm just myself. That's just who I am, and I can be nobody else but me. Even though I have a few different personalities just in my YouTube play. But that's just my character, not who I am as a person. Sometimes it's easier to separate the two after a while. Even though some people may not notice the difference. And that's entirely fine. The point is, I mean, at some point, you know, I would like to find the right person for me. And then maybe, you know, fall in love, get married, have kids at some point. Grow up to have kids of my own. No, no, no. <laughs> for them to have kids of their own. Definitely not with my kids. That would just be ridiculous. That's... They banned that at the South recently. The point is, you know, at some point I'm going to be growing up. Even though I'm 29 years old, so I should, technically I should already be grown up. But later on, I mean, YouTube Let's Playing is probably going to pass me by. Not yet, but it might happen eventually. Also, I don't think even one of my classmates that I go to college with even know I start a YouTube channel. They would probably think I'm a bit odd that I'm just doing uh, YouTube Let's Plays. Maybe some of them would rather me do more Barbie Let's Plays if I sh told them, Oh, I did Barbie Let's Plays once. Yeah, th that would not go over well. I, I do that under my terms, not someone else's. When I do Barbie Let's Plays, I decide, not someone else. Because nobody in their right mind would actually request them. <laughs> There's a good reason for that. Okay, let's move on here. Alright, Isaac is not gonna stand a chance. <laughs> I'll get over on this side for some strange reason. I hate that I'm always right by the door. Maybe I'll just move him where the succubus duo is going. Which I should not be relying on because they're gonna switch sides eventually. They always do. But they're not gonna stay there for me. They ain't ready to settle down. Do I have three now? I just noticed. Oh yeah, because I got one from the Deal with the Devil, one from KB and Conception, and the other from Box of Friends. I 
It is weird to see, like, three of the same familiar. But it's very potent. Okay. Oh, well, there's our blank card. Well, there's our Death's Touch. Celtic Cross. And 8-inch Nails. Okay, so it looks like a Death's Touch overrides the 8-inch Nails. I'm not going to take blank card because I'm happy with Box of Friends. I feel like, a. Uh, Blank card is not good enough to replace Lilith's main advantage. You know what? I probably would have preferred to see the nails on the sides. Like, what would you prefer? Like, if you had Death's Touch and 8 inch nails, which would you rather see coming out of your shots? Like, nails or sides? I mean, I love Death's Touch, but I think 8 inch nails just looks a hell of a lot cooler. And I much prefer the music of their uh, extra one-inch uh, counterpart. I don't know if you heard of them. It's uh, One Direction. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, and we use Toast. You know what? You know what uh, hasn't happened on the wall? Getting chest in the chest. I think that's very disgraceful that this hasn't been happening a lot lately. I was hoping as soon as I said that, oh, here's your wish, Bongo, here's your chest, but it's Isaac's heart, have fun. Three Mega Fatties, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, I got Invincibility from Celtic Cross, nice. I did get a Black Heart from one of them. Okay, hopefully this is the way to Blue Baby here. If we get Dad's Key, I will fight Mega Satan, or get out a Jail Free card, I will definitely fight Mega Satan, I promise you that. It's been a while since we actually fought Mega Satan, despite, you know, all the times we've had to fight him several videos in a row. Oh, we were going the right way this whole time. That's real good. I rarely get the right way the first time. I don't know Widow still survive all that. Sure, you know what? I'll just play you. Probably should have gotten back for blank cards if I used two judgments. Maybe get a chance for two other items, but eh, life goes on. It's not really important. Keys are useless to me. Like, all I need is just an item. Just give me one item. Red hearts don't cut it for me. I can't even pick them up. Like, really? Come on. Hook me up with something. Not another bean item. I swear to God, if you give me, like, black bean or just the bean, I'm going to be pissed. Well, I guess I should be careful what I ask for. <laughs> Okay, Blue Baby is not going to stand a chance. I mean, look at all the damage we are doing. Like, anytime we get within the three Succubi range, our sides are just going to grow. Blue Baby just got wrecked. And there we go. That's another win in the books. This string of randoms has not been disastrous in any way whatsoever. Okay, so I believe there's going to be three more videos left in this Let's Play, and it will be done. Thanks for watching, I'll see you for the next one.